Hello, this is uh, Ellie from SafeNet HASP Technical Support. In this session I'm going to talk about Admin Control Center. In order to get into the Admin Control Center I use Internet Explorer with localhost and port 1947. This Admin Control Center is actually the runtime, the HASP runtime or the HASP driver which is installed on that machine. And it allows me to set and configure some of the options that I would like to choose for that machine. But first let's see what are the optional uh, tasks to do with the Admin Control Center. One is to see which are the keys connected. For example here we see that there is a natural net time 10 key. Here I can see the key ID And if I go to the right, I can see the features that resides inside this key. For instance, I see the feature number 0, 1, 3, 22, and 14 over here. For each feature, I am able to see which type of uh, feature it is. For instance, uh, feature number 1 is executions, while feature number 22 is perpetual. But there are more things to see here. For instance, I can see whether the access to this uh, feature is uh, possible in from another machine, from another remote machine, or only from local. For instance, the 14 feature is to be used only f locally, while the other features over here can be used from the network, from other machines. Another thing that I can see is the display, which means that this feature can be accessed via a remote desktop. Uh, again, feature 14 is for locally and cannot be used from remote desktop. I can also see that the feature is expired already. That's, now let's go uh, for another important uh, option is the configuration. Over here I'm able to configure and to set what are the license uh, terms that I want to use on that specific machine. For instance, access to remote license manager, whether I'm able to see other license managers on other machines in the network. For instance, if I choose to allow access to remote licenses on other machines in this network, and to broadcast in order to search other license managers on other machines and then I press on submit, I must uh, press on submit in order for the test for the changes to take place so um, after clicking on submit let's go to the sentinel keys uh, no change over here I don't see any other keys from another machine Other options are what is the access from remote clients, whether I uh, allow access from other machines to that machine or not. <coughs> and I can also uh, deny or accept or allow to some specific machines to connect to that machine, to that license manager on this machine. I can also uh, set whether I'd like to have uh, access log file or error log file over here. In addition I can uh, set with which are the users that are allowed to use this license manager. Uh, by default I have uh, all user can can access have uh, have no restrictions and can use this license manager but it can be changed. Uh, all the options are um, listed in the help file. So these are the basics of the admin control center. Thank you for watching.